I will come in your festival with a piece that I created a few years ago, which name is 27 Perspective. I really wanted to focus on dance and music in a super pure way. So I collaborate with Pete Harden, a composer. And we decided actually to revisit uh, the masterpiece of Schubert, uh, which is uh, L'Inachevé de Schubert. And we uh, actually uh, start to imagine how we can recompose it in uh, the way of the post-minimalist uh, composer. We invent a new version of this music based on 27 variations, was really uh, strongly uh, inspired by another work, but more for, from uh, a visual artist uh, whose name is Remy Tsog, who did actually a 27 version, 27 perspective on one picture of Cézanne, the painter. The dancers in the, in the piece represent uh, in a super literal way what you, you can hear in the music. So in the same way that Rémi Tsog appropriate himself the, the paint of Cézanne, I appropriate also myself the music of Schubert and I try to make a traduction on stage, a visual one. Mm, there's three movements in the old dramaturgy of this piece. In terms of music, it sells of something like 50 seconds of the same theme from the first movement of Schubert. So it's a repetition of the same movement, but um, propose, I, we propose it in a different way. Each dancer in the beginning of the piece has his own phrase, which create a kind of chaotic, in terms of visual aspect, also chaotic group. The more the music uh, is progressing, the more actually we uh, getting close to the real variation of Schubert, the more uh, the dancer are coming to a perfect unison. Literally, the dancer are like uh, musicians on stage, but you can say also that they're like knots. Uh, they are the, the, the pure uh, translation of what is happening in each different cells. I actually wanted to come from this white page so uh, literally, Eric Soyer made a kind of uh, page which is uh, incurvated like this uh, on the on the borders, and uh, and it's quite clear that the the more and more in the piece, this white page start to be actually full, full of movement, full of vocabulary, but also full or rich of this relationship that the dancer created with the music. It was super important for me to let some space uh, for the audience to be connected to what they see, but also to, to let space for what they can hear. People need uh, perhaps less word, words, but more perception, more sensation, more sensitivity. Uh, in the DNA of dance, I believe in that to uh, carry on itself in the dance all, let's say, uh, the topics that, uh, or the links that we are uh, experiencing with the world today.